I am Dr. Shoykot. This is my second video on Tetralogy of Fallot. In my last video titled Tetralogy of Fallot Part 1, I have discussed about the components of Tetralogy of Fallot and I have explained the murmur in Tetralogy of Fallot. In this video, I will discuss about the clinical features, investigations and treatment of the Tetralogy of Fallot. So, now the clinical features of tetralogy of fallot before discussing the clinical features of tetralogy of fallot i'd like to recapitulate the pathology in tetralogy of fallot So, in Tetralogy of Fallot, there are four components. Large VSD, there is pulmonary stenosis, there is overriding of aorta, and there is right ventricular hypertrophy. So, this is the basic concept of Tetralogy of Fallot that what happens inside the heart in Tetralogy of Fallot. Now, what are the clinical features of Tetralogy of Fallot? So, in case of symptoms of the tetralogy of fallot, the first one is dyspnea. There is difficulty in breathing. Then there is fatigue. There is fallot spell or cyanotic spell. Now, what is this fallot spell or cyanotic spell? This fallot spell or cyanotic spell is very important. Fallot spell or cyanotic spell is a patient becomes cyanosed after crying or feeding and may become apneic or unconscious. And that is relieved by squatting position. That is called fallot spell or cyanotic spell then growth retardation then there may be stroke from erythrocytosis secondary to chronic hypoxemia so these are the symptoms of tetralogy of fallot now what are the signs of tetralogy of fallot So the signs of tetralogy of fallot are first one is increased palpebral redness due to polycythemia then cyanosis there will be clubbing and left parasternal heave why left parasternal heave left parasternal heave is due to the right ventricular hypertrophy and loud ejection systolic murmur with single s2 now why there is loud ejection systolic murmur with single s2 to understand why there is loud ejection systolic murmur with single s2 you have to see the first video of the tetralogy of fallot that is stuff part one that is in my channel now what are the investigations of tetralogy of fallot
So in the investigation, the first one is ECG. In ECG, we may get RPH, right ventricular hypertrophy. And in the chest X-ray, we will get a boot-shaped heart. That is very characteristic of tetralogy of fallot. Then in the echocardiogram, we will see the components of tetralogy of fallot. These are the investigations for tetralogy of fallot. Now, what are the treatment modalities for tetralogy of fallot? So, in case of medical treatment of tetralogy of fallot, there is correction of anemia if present, correction of polycythemia, prevention of dehydration, prophylactic antibiotic for infective endocarditis, and treatment of paroxysmal hypercyanotic attack. The surgical treatment of tetralogy of fallot includes two stage operations. One is palliative operation, another one is total corrective surgery. So, first one is palliative shunt procedure, which is called modified Blalock tussig or BT shunt. And secondly, there is total corrective surgery. And total corrective surgery always early surgery is preferable. And total corrective surgery should always be done after one to two years of shunt procedure. So this is all about tetralogy of fallot. Hope you like this video and give your feedback in the comments below and subscribe this channel for next videos. Thank you. Thank you.